Hi, this is Daniel, and recently I've been learning Python by creating scripts to help automate certain tasks. Here I've created a program that organizes WAV files into Excel based on their properties. The script can be executed in one of two ways. The first way is by entering three arguments at the run window. The first argument is the name of the script, and normally you have to type out the complete path, but since I have the location saved as a path environment variable, I can just type in the name of the script itself. The second argument is the name of the folder in which the audio files are located that you want to organize the properties for in an Excel sheet. And the third argument is the name you're going to call the Excel document. So in this instance, I'm taking all the audio files within the folder files and sending their data to an Excel file called files. As you can see, it's just a few files, and all of the information is organized nicely based on their titles at the top. The second way to execute the script is by double-clicking on the script itself, for which I have a second version to allow me to do this. I enter in the path of the folder, so this time I'll use all the audio files in the folder attacks. Then I enter in the name I'd like to call the Excel document. And now all the file's information has been written into a new Excel sheet. You can have as many files and folders as you like. The script walks through everything until the last file is reached. Now, before the video, I ran the script on the SFX folder, which has tens of thousands of audio files. It took about 5 to 10 minutes to run through all of them. Having all this information can be helpful when working with this many files to sort through. For example, I could use the filtering system in Excel to display only monofiles. Then I could add to that by filtering all the monofiles that have been sampled at 96,000 Hz. And I could take it one step further and search through all those files that only have gun in their name. So that's it for now. If you have any suggestions on how I could make this program better, I'd be interested to hear it. Thanks for watching.